The crypto industry fights against regulators in the courts from Grayscale to Ripple and now even Coin Center. We'll take a closer look there. And Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple CEO, has said that the SEC has no regard for those harmed by the XRP lawsuit. We'll see some of the comments he made over the past weekend and just announced today Ripple's begun testing XRPL uh, or an XRPL sidechain compatible with Ethereum smart contracts. Interoperability always been a topic that was key for Ripple. David Schwartz brings it up a lot. So we'll look at what was just announced earlier today, October the 17th. But if we haven't met before, my name is Frank Cho. I'm here to help you live a richer life. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, personal finance, and investing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it now. That way I can keep you informed of all the latest news and updates. Just a quick apology. I know I was gone over the weekend without much notice uh, here on the channel, but I'm back uh, in full force here. But uh, we were traveling with the kids over the weekend, so I didn't have a chance to really post. But let's get caught up on some of the important headlines as we start off a new week. So the crypto industry has been fighting regulators in the courts where very aware of the Ripple case in library and many of the other ones that have gone on. But one of the most captivating signs of the industry's maturity really is just the amount of fight that we're seeing. Digital asset manager Grayscale has filed its opening brief against the SEC to challenge its decision denying Grayscale's application to convert the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust to a spot Bitcoin ETF. According to Grayscale, the SEC has until November 9th to file a response. Now, in further news, U.S. crypto policy advocacy group Coin Center has followed through with its intention to take the Treasury's Department of uh, or the Office of Foreign Asset Control or OFAC to court over the sanctioning of Tornado Cash, which is a crypto mixer service. Lawyers for Coin Center have said that they believe this to be in, uh, inappropriate. They called it unprecedented and unlawful in part due to privacy concerns over crypto transactions. And then meanwhile, we know that Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple, and Chris Larson have been all tied up in the SEC case. He said he expects this long drawn or long drawn out battle between the company and the SEC to end in the first half of 2023. Federal judges work at their own pace, he said, before adding optimistically, we're talking about three to four months. Pest pessimistically, it could take longer than that. Now, let's look at a few of the other comments that he made over the weekend. He was a little bit more aggressive in the comments than we've seen uh, Garlinghouse be in the past. And he's certainly been sounding off against the SEC, saying that they don't care about those they've harmed with the lawsuit. He told his followers over the past weekend that the SEC lawsuit isn't about upholding the law, but rather consolidating power. He said, my outrage has grown as the litigation has unfolded. There is no recourse. There is no consequence to those that brought this lawsuit. The SEC's pursuit of a policy objective isn't about a faithful allegiance to the law. It's about power. You notice he quotes that from Judge Netburn. The SEC sued Ripple back in 2020 in December uh, under allegations it issued XRP as an unregistered security. But the SEC has forgotten that it should work for the people rather than against them, says Garlinghouse. He wrote, there is no regard for those companies and people that this approach has harmed. We all should be outraged. The SEC has clearly forgotten that the government works for the people. In a recent interview last week at DC Fintech 2022, Garlinghouse noted that foreign firms willing to partner with Ripple don't seem to care how the SEC views the sixth largest crypto asset. Most people outside the U.S. don't really care that the SEC is suing us. I was in the Middle East, he writes, or he said, uh, last fall, and we were meeting with customers. We are meeting with the CEO of a payments company. The employee from Team Ripple says, why don't you give an update on what's going on with Ripple? I start talking about the SEC. After the meeting, he very delicate says me, no one gives a fill in the blank. His point is, if you're not in the U.S., the government in Abu Dhabi, the government in Switzerland, the governments in Singapore, the U.K., Japan, they provided the clarity in how they view and categorize digital assets, and they don't care. 
that the SEC has a viewpoint pending in court. So again, Garlinghouse providing a more global perspective here. Certainly as CEO of the company, he has a lot of dealings across borders with various parties that are interested in the opportunities that their services can provide and utilizing Ripple software and products on the XRP ledger uh, or and the XRP ledger in partnership to be able to move money across the globe and to have other access to services like on-demand liquidity. Now, just a quick reminder, if you didn't see it when I tweeted it out or posted it on the community page, Ledger is doing free shipping now through October or the end of October 17th. So uh, when you're seeing this, it could be uh, pretty close to the end of the day here. So make sure to check that out if you are interested. The free shipping offer is uh, one that doesn't come around too often. So jump on that if you need an X or an NOS Plus and any other items you add along with that would qualify for that free shipping as well. So check out the link in the video description. Now, the last thing that was announced earlier today is Ripple beginning to test uh, XRP Ledger sidechain that, uh, or an XRP Ledger sidechain that's compatible with Ethereum smart contracts. This is the first of a three-part process to introduce an EVM compatible sidechain to the mainnet. So Ripple's testing a way for developers to deploy smart contracts made for the larger and even more popular Ethereum on the XRPL with little effort. The Ethereum Virtual Machine is the software that runs smart contracts on Ethereum. Ripple set an EVM compatible sidechain, which is a blockchain that runs in parallel with the main XRPL blockchain, is now live on the company's DevNet. So this is really exciting because developers will be able to test implementations before they go live on the main network. Ripple and XRP stand to potentially benefit because the work developers have already put into building Ethereum smart contracts could be leveraged in the entirely separate Ripple ecosystem. The announcement again just came out today and is the first of a three-part process. The second phase will go live in early 2023 when the EVM sidechain will become permissionless, meaning anyone can join it. The third phase is slated for the second quarter when Ripple will fully deploy the software. Our goal in 2023 is to have an EVM sidechain connected to the mainnet, said Ripple CTO David Schwartz. The bridge in the final solution will be decentralized and all components of the solution will be production ready to handle real world scale and use cases. So that's pretty exciting. Let me know what you think. Do you think that will open up even more doors for the XRP ledger to be utilized by additional parties and provide some more inflows? I'm curious to know what you think. Again, apologies that we had a couple day lag there, but we're back in full force again, and uh, we'll be here for all the latest news and updates. If you found any value here, don't forget to drop a like. It helps the channel a ton and helps me to keep you informed. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so I can keep you up to date on all the latest news and do check out the link below for the free shipping uh, with Ledger if you do need a way to secure and self-custody your digital assets. Thank you so much for spending some time here with me. I do truly appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and start to the week, and I will see you in the next one.